Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Spivey, joined with my dad, Travis Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. In today's video, it will explain the role of natural selection in causing biological resistance. So let's do this! Our learning circuit for today is I can explain the role of natural selection in causing biological resistance as it relates to pesticides, antibiotic resistance, and flu vaccines. Let's start off by breaking down the words biological resistance. Biological is talking about anything that is living. Resistance means to go against, avoid, or repel something. So when we put them together, biological resistance means the natural or genetic ability of pests, bacteria, and viruses to avoid or repel and attack from something that may do them harm or eradicate them. These harmful things can come in the form of chemicals, pesticides, antibiotic vaccines, and several other agents that are designed to kill pests, bacteria, and viruses. Let's take a look at pesticide resistance. Pesticide resistance describes the decreased susceptibility of a pest population to a pesticide that was previously effective at controlling the pest. This means that the same pesticide or insecticide that was able to kill pests in the past is no longer effective at killing them because the pests have built up an immunity to these pesticides. This means that there was a change in their DNA genetic makeup that allowed them to naturally develop a biological resistance to these pesticides. Think about this. According to a study carried out by scientists at Purdue University, cockroaches have become so resistant to pesticides and insecticides, they're nearly impossible to eradicate or kill with chemicals alone. Not only that, but in some cases, exposure to insecticides can actually cause roach populations to increase. We have all heard the phrase, what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. This phrase literally applies to cockroaches as they have a super insect ability to adapt to and overcome almost any pesticide that we try to use to kill them. Their DNA is able to change and adapt at such a rapid rate, it is nearly impossible to kill them. This is why the cockroach spray that worked last year won't be nearly as effective at killing them this year because they have rapidly genetically evolved and adapted to the pesticide. This means that soon, Cockroaches may be completely immune to any pesticide we use to attempt to destroy their population. Now that's a very scary thought. Let's move on to antibiotic resistance. Antibiotic resistance is one of the biggest public health challenges of our time. Each year in the United States, at least 2.8 million people get an antibiotic resistant infection and more than 35,000 people die as a result of this. Antibiotic resistance happens when germs like bacteria and fungi develop the ability to build up an immunity to and defeat the drugs designed to kill them. That means the germs are not killed and continue to grow. Antibiotic resistance evolves naturally through natural selection that is caused by a random mutation. Prokaryotic or bacteria cells don't have DNA contained in a nucleus so it is more likely to have random mutations. This leads to the development of antibiotic resistant bacteria. Every time a person takes antibiotics, Sensitive bacteria are killed, but resistant bacteria may be left to grow and multiply. Repeated and improper uses of antibacteria are primary causes of increase in drug-resistant bacteria. For example, a doctor may prescribe someone a prescription for 20 pills to combat a bacterial infection. The instructions on the bottle clearly say take one pill every 12 hours. Now this person may start taking the pills and feel much better after a few days. Since they feel better, they decide to stop taking the pills and save them for later. This is the worst mistake a person could make. Why you may ask? Because the weaker bacteria die off when the person starts taking the medication, but the stronger, more resistant, resilient bacteria continue to survive usually until all of the medication is taken. Say if you don't take all of your medication though. The stronger, more resilient bacteria will continue to survive and reproduce. This is why it's so important to take all of your antibiotics. Superbugs have been created as a result of people not taking all of their medication. Superbugs are bacteria that can no longer be killed with antibiotics. So if you don't want superbugs, you better take all of your medication. Now let's talk about biological resistance to flu vaccines. When an antiviral drug is flu effective against a virus, that virus is said to be susceptible to that antiviral drug. This means that drug can kill the virus. Influence of viruses are constantly changing and can sometimes in ways that might make antiviral drugs less effective or not work at all against these viruses. When an influence of virus changes in the active site where an antiviral drug works, that virus shows reduced susceptibility to that antiviral drug. Reduced susceptibility can be a sign of potential antiviral drug resistance. 
Antiviral drugs are less likely to work on viruses with reduced susceptibility. Influenza viruses can show reduced susceptibility to one or more influenza antiviral drugs because of how quickly the virus changes. Influenza viruses are constantly changing or adapting. They can change from one season to the next and can even change within the course of one flu season. As a flu virus replicates or makes copies of itself, the genetic makeup may change in a way that results in the virus becoming less susceptible to one or more of the antiviral drugs used to treat or prevent influenza. Influenza viruses can become less susceptible to antiviral drugs spontaneously or emerge during the course of antiviral treatment. Viruses that are less susceptible or resistant vary in their ability to transmit to other people. To sum it all up, there are three main causes of biological resistance. First, selective pressure. Selective pressure occurs when a group of organisms are exposed to, but not all of them are killed by a substance designed to kill them. Some organisms survive because they have changes in their DNA that allows them to withstand and endure these substances. Second, gene transfer. The organisms that survive pass their genes on to the next generation, which make these offspring even more immune to previous antibiotics, pesticides, or antiviral medications. Third, some organisms have natural resistance because of certain gene mutations they have that make them less susceptible or immune to these substances. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with explaining the role of natural selection in causing biological resistance as it relates to pesticides, antibiotic resistance, and flu vaccines by taking our video quiz. You sure will turn on the device to scan the QR code at the bottom right of the screen or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record your results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and also click the bell icon so you don't miss on any of our awesome videos. Peace, and have a positive, productive day.